Hey guys, it's Andrew, and welcome back to my channel. So this week I thought it would be fun to do another DIY video, and I decided I wanted to attempt to make the crystal candle holders. So you guys have probably seen this on BuzzFeed or on other blogs on the internet, but people are growing their own candle holders from a powder called Alum Powder. Basically it's this something happens with the powder and it just latches on to things and it grows crystals. So um, we're gonna use the top of the mason jar to see if we can grow our own. Um, all you're gonna need is the alum powder, the mason jar lid, um, some artistic wire, food coloring, a container to grow it in, some tape, and a gloss spray to seal it, and also some super glue and hot glue. So the first step is to gather your materials, and then step two is to glue the lid together, the mace, mace jar lid together. Um, the side, the shiny side, is gonna be facing up, so you're gluing it upside down. So it should look like this. Now that step one is complete and the mason jar is glued to itself, um, the next step is to poke a hole through the middle. So ask your parents for help if you need to or do it on your own if you can get your hands on a hammer and a nail. Um, but you're just going to lightly tap and push a hole through the middle so you can hang it with your wire. So I'm not going to hammer in here because obviously I'm in the kitchen. So I will be right back. I'm going to go hammer this and I will be right back. All right, I'm back. So I got my hole in the middle. Next step is you're gonna put super glue all around here and dip it in some alum powder. This kind of just gets the whole process going so the crystals know to form there. I have a little bit of the powder here. Some super glue. Be very careful when you get super glue on yourself. Um, it smells bad, it hurts your skin. So I just put a little bit and then dip right in on the powder. And then just all the way around. All right, so now that it's all covered in the almond powder, the next step is a little difficult. Sorry, my eyes are water so bad. Oh my God, it's super hurts your eyes. Okay, <laughs> anyways, like I was saying, so now that you're the edge of your mason jar lid is covered in the almond powder and glue, you have to let it dry. And let it dry for about an hour, maybe an hour and a half, just so you know that it's really on there so when you dip it in the solution, it doesn't come right off. So, we'll be back in one hour. Okay, I am back and I, this is dry. It's been an hour and hopefully it's dry and it sticks. All right, next step is you're gonna get some wire or you can even use like hemp if you really wanted to, but wire is probably the best because less of a chance of it sticking. And about that much, 10 inches, eight to 10 inches, depending on how deep your bowl is. And you're gonna put it in through the white side and kind of just 
bend it right on over. And then you're gonna secure it with tape. Trying your best not to knock off all of the almond powder. Alright, so when it's done, it should be like this. So you can hang it. So then, you're gonna move over to this. So you're gonna wanna bring two cups of water with one cup of olive powder to a boil, and then one tablespoon uh, of food coloring, um, which is about the whole thing in here. Um, and bring it to a boil till the olive powder is all dissolved, and then you dump it in here. Oh, I can see my water is boiling over there, so I'm gonna go add the olive powder and the food coloring, and we'll be right back. All right, so I have the solution, which is the two cups of water, one cup of almond powder, and then one tablespoon of food color. I chose green. And next step, we're gonna pour it into here and then lower this in there and leave it overnight. In here carefully. Tough to see this. So try to get the wire as straight as you can before lowering it into there so you know that it's going to be as level as it possibly can. Now, now's the moment of truth. We're just going to sink it right in. Oh my god. She's in. Now it's the hard part. You just let it sit there for 12 to 24 hours. And hopefully at the end of this, we will have a crystal candle holder. So I'm very excited to see how it's gonna turn out. So I will see you guys tomorrow with the results. Bye. All right, everybody. It has been 24 hours, actually a little over 24 hours, but it is time to see how our crystal candle holder came out. Um, I did peek at it last night and it looked like the crystals were starting to form, but hopefully they, they got big. So I did cover it just so no dust or anything would get in there and I don't know, kind of keep it warmer for longer. I don't really know how it works, if the warmness makes the crystal form or when it gets colder, the crystals form. Um, but anywho, it's time to see how it turned out. Okay, we got something here. Oh. So they did grow, but they didn't grow all the way around like I've seen other crystal so the first thing to do is to cut this off as close as you can to It didn't turn out exactly as I had hoped. I kind of hoped it would have grown bigger crystals, but it's it's cute. I don't love this green color. I thought it was gonna be a dark green, but um, yeah, I think it, it it looks pretty cool. And uh, since the inside is more visible, I'll probably paint it gold just to kind of make it look cooler. But yeah, I mean, I'm pretty pleased with the way it came out. I'm excited to make more and hopefully research how to get them to grow even bigger than this. But overall, I think it's it was a pretty good first attempt at this. And yeah, I'm excited for it to be used. 
Anyways, if you want to make your own crystal candle holder, I'll link in the down bar the BuzzFeed article that I followed in making this. I hope you guys enjoyed this do-it-yourself crystal candle holder video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up for me. I work very hard to put these videos out as close to once a week as possible for you guys. And next week's video is going to be special because it is my one year anniversary. I cannot believe it's been a year already. Um, but we'll go over all of that in next week's video. Um, so leave a comment below if you tried making these and how yours turned out. Remember to hit subscribe, I put out new videos every week, or at least I try to. But yeah, that's it for this week. I will see you guys next time. Bye!